Hey guys, I know, I know, it's been a long time. Uh, I've been fighting with my tablet still um, to get any kind of live streaming going. It's not happening. I don't know what I'm going to do. I guess it's going to have to just be back to this. Like I said, I have literally tried a ton of different, um, a different programs and I ended up uninstalling them, uh, reinstalling them, out, trying different ones, you name it. And that's where I am now. I just actually uploaded two other ones and tried them. And the one, it it says I still don't have it set up on YouTube, which I do. I've checked everything. Everything is turned to on. I just think it's this. If I had a tablet or a phone that instead of just had the video camera to record, which is what I'm doing now, uh, most of them have the video thing to record and then another button that says go live now and you just push the go live now button and ba boom I'm live, but I don't have that on my tablet because it's only version 4 and my phone that well It's not my phone the phone I borrowed is an old phone and you guys hear how that thing goes I don't think I want to be on that anyways because it goes good ding, 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 ding. and all these noises happen so anyway <laughs> Hi! <laughs> I'm here anyways, one way or the other. I'm sorry there's no chit-chatting, which really... I'm like... I don't know. It's heartbreaking. <laughs> I'll live, I'll live. So anyways, a couple things I wanted to come on because I've been asked questions, multiple questions, with regards to um, my satin, silk and satin type bombs. They're not going to be called Silk and Satin. This one's not full, by the way, just because it's going to be a... Uh, it's a demo-type bomb, actually. Just for me to show you guys in the tub. I don't know if it's going to be big enough to to do that, but if you guys can get a good look... Maybe I could bring the light over and you guys can see... I don't know if you can see the sh shimmer glitter, shimmer glitter. Oh! The smell is amazing. The green one, by the way, is Mermaid Kisses. So, I don't have a name for it. I was thinking, like, Mermaid Tail or something. But I think I'm just going to leave it, like, maybe Mermaid Waters or something. Um, I do have a name for them. Um, I'm not going to tell you at the moment because they're going to be listed soon. I have to make labels. But I had a little faux pas yesterday. I know I did the demos in the sink and I showed you guys the cool glittery water and whatever. And it was raining the day I was making those, so I made a bunch, um, and then I tested them in the bathtub. My first mistake was it was cold water, which they don't work. So, um, halfway through making the purple bombs, I ended up, they just started doing weird things. So I tested one, and they just was not enough color in the tub, um the the effect I wanted was just a bunch of sparkly glittery things floating around like the mica would normally look so I busted them up and holy crap was that a freaking chore I mean Shane and I literally had to take hammers and a chisel and chisel them open to get the capsules out so that I could make new ones so that's gonna go into something it's gonna be some awesome glittery bubble crumble because obviously there's more here with more there's gonna be more glitter so and same thing happened with some of the green ones. So I did do a demo. I put two in the tub. Two worked great. But one was just quite not enough glitter. So if you had two, they would work. But I thought, you know what? People aren't going to buy two. And they're not going to put two in the tub at the same time. Maybe they are, but I didn't think of it that way. So I, as you can see, I had to chisel them all out. And uh, I made some more. So these are going to go into a bag of some stuff too, which is going to be some awesome, awesome. It'll be like, I'm going to, you'll see, I'll just make mermaid powder of some sort. Um, I haven't done any unboxings and, you know, I know, spank me, you know, bad Tammy, bad Tammy. It's not like I didn't get anything. I've had, I, <laughs> you guys know that I have like, I love collecting certain things. Well, my other collection and my, I guess you could call it another addiction besides colorants and whatever else is, I love boxes. I've always loved boxes. I don't know if it's like my inner desire to be organized or what it is, but I've always been fascinated with boxes. Oh, and that reminds me, I can show you, but these, like I said, these are some of the, well, I don't even know where to start. Here's one. Cigar boxes, especially the wood ones, are like my all-time favorite so I've got you know I got this one 
It slides. This is the one that's giving me a little bit of the hardest time. It's a newer one. I like the older ones. So I've got this one. You know, it's pretty cool and it slides open and I these are all my you know, my things that I'll show you, but that's the box. Isn't it cool? Yep, look, it's all for Koshiba's been. So there's that one. I've got this one, which I absolutely love. And like I said, yeah, they're all wood, but I love them. See, aren't they cool? And this is, this one is filled with some stuff that I'll show you. It's got stones and jewelry and whatnot. This one so far has got to be my favorite. I absolutely love these. My son was trying to steal it off me because he wants to make a guitar, a cigar guitar box, or a cigar box guitar. And I said, no way are you getting mine. But this is like one of my other favorite ones. But as you see, it's all wood, still wood insert. This has got all, these are my, oh God, does that ever smell good? Leather, man. These are my leather necklaces that are gonna be going with the, um, oops, gonna be going with the pendants, so I don't think they're going to be just pendants. Some of them are going to have necklaces with them anyways, but I mean, it's up to you if you keep them or not, or I don't know. Maybe they'll be swag. It's hard to say. So that's those, and then I just have a couple of my other leather bracelets I threw in there, because trying to keep things where I know where they are, right? And then the other one I got, my son has one like this too. Actually, he's got two like this. I like this one too. It's pretty cool, but it's got like the little, the little clippy latch, and up it goes. And this one's full of. These are gorgeous, by the way. Look at these Aurora, Aurora. I can't forget what they're called. Something Aurora seed, something Lemurian crystals. I can't remember the exact name. I got my rose quartz, but they turned out. Look how tiny they are. But they're still going to be in a bomb or in a jar or something. Same with these. These are my, the ruby and little light or something i can't remember what it's called but oh yeah and then we got a whole bunch of these love these i'll show you what these look like these were in some of the bombs i think omnia yeah omnia got one um these are the lemurian or lemurian the the hello help me i can't think right now crystals okay these are smoky quartz smoky quartz crystals and they go in my bombs actually been in a couple bombs not these ones but those ones have been sold obviously uh what else yeah i got more of those in here oops i guess i have to let the air out so you guys know that i've been talking about so many things that i want to make and your guys are probably like when is she gonna do it blah 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 anyways so i did start i did like i said these glittery bombs. Um, I'm still going to do a few Lord of the Rings bombs, I think, because I got those in finally. Uh, what I was thinking for the littler stones is what I might do, as you see this bottle. Remember I was going to do the message bottles? I still have the tiny ones, but I'm still thinking I may just do a bottle with stones or a wish or something. It's still going to be something, but this is what I was thinking I would do with the little stones so we could get like a gem collection and a bomb. I haven't designed the bomb yet. That's still sort of in the brain, in the making, but I think that's going to be how those go. Um, and then, yeah, I got my awesome little baggie of some stuff. Oh, these are like absolutely gorgeous. I didn't bring in my big bag of stones, but I do have some stones, but these are like absolutely just look at that look at that obsidian oh my god look at it Woo i don't know if it's an apache tier hard to say i don't think so but we got like seriously these are i'm yeah there's white agate which is gorgeous oh like look at some of these oh we know what that one is that starts with a c and i can't think of the name at the moment yeah there's some really nice ones in here so, just to show you, that one's gorgeous too. Hard to see with my lighting, I know. But anyway, so these are for something. I don't know if they're going to actually go in a bomb or in a bag. I have been sending them the odd to odd people in a bag. Like I said, here's my white agate. I also got uh, the tiger's eye, which I'm sure you guys can't see so great. But these are gorgeous tiger's eyes. And then, for something else that I was going to do... Are these 
them. Yep. Um, I also have some charms and stuff coming that I have to wait to make some stuff, but these are for a bomb I'm making too, and I was thinking of doing like angel wing bombs or something like that. But if you guys can see the ring, maybe I can take it out. These aren't super great quality. I, mean, I shouldn't say they're super great. They're not bad. Just they're not as pristine and as good as my other ones. So I don't want anybody to go, oh, I got crap, silver ring, whatever. It's not like that. This is more for like a novelty. Um, but that's, that's what they look like. I think they're beautiful. So I don't really, really even care. But just a silver ring. There's no stones or nothing. It's just a nice silver ring. They're angel wings or whatever, but they're... Can you see them? Very hard to see in here with my light, isn't it? I just thought they were pretty, so... I think I got 10 or 15 of these. And that's the only... That's, like, the amount of bombs that'll be made with them. That'll be it. Like, when they're gone, they're gone. Kind of deal. You know, a few limited edition type things. I think there's five in here. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know if I got two bags or three bags. Yes, I got three, so there's 15. Okay. So that's those. Um, oh, yeah. What? You guys were... Oh, I'll tell you. I got a couple things I got to show you, too, because I got my nurture order in. Because, you know, I saw that sale go up, and I, I know we'll be selling it, but I just... I need to make stuff now. So I had to get some stuff now. But... Um, these bombs that I'm making here, and I'm not going to say the name just for reasons in case, you know, it's not on a label yet, so people could maybe take it, and I don't want that to happen. So, what I just wanted to show you, because people will be like, oh, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what the quality is, it's probably junk, garbage, like, you know, how novelty bombs are usually cheap stuff. Anyways, I just wanted to show you, just... I mean, it's all in fun anyways, but these are, these are the coins, okay? So you can see them. These are, um, they are, they've been called, like, the Ming Dynasty, but they're, like, feng shui, good luck, lucky charms for, um, it's like for prosperity, for, for just all goodness. These are all good. So if you got one of these in your, you know, your little cup bombs, don't. Don't feel bad. These are great. Hang them over your door. Um, put them on a leather cord necklace if you like. I mean, if you guys want a leather cord, <laughs> whatever. But yeah, wear them with you like that. My son put his on his keychain. Keeps it with him all the time. I mean, whatever you want. Just, you know, they're 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 good luck. And then as far as the other ones, let me, I'll just show you how they come inside the thing. So... That's what the charm would be in, in this little ball. But then if you got a gem, the gem will come in a ball too, with a piece of paper to tell you what it is, and then you'll see the gem. And like I said, some of them are, like, they're all different cuts, they're all different sizes, so I don't want you guys to think, oh, she got a small one, I got a big one. They're all different. I didn't pick specific sizes. They were all kind of picked at random. Just so you can see, like, there's a, oops, that came open, that would not be good. Oh, is that the one we broke? One of these we broke when I chiseled it out of the bomb. I'm going to have to put a new capsule in it. Might be that one. Anyway, so that, you can see it. That one's a ruby. This one is a emerald. It's it's cut in a teardrop. Whoa, cut in a teardrop shape. Um, and just to show you the gems raw, like not in a container. I did not load up the big ones yet. Because a couple of these I'm having put in rings and stuff. But this is just to give you an idea of the cut and the style. So, this is a sapphire. I mean, no, sorry, an emerald. It's hard to see. It's green. Emerald. Ruby. If I can show you a bit better. I don't know. But there it is. That's the ruby. That's an emerald. And then we have sapphires. Yeah, throw it away. Sapphires, so you guys can see, but like, some of them will be cut like this, see, squares, um, some are teardrops, some are tiny little, like, gabaconch, but they're faceted, so they have, like, really pretty cuts in them, this is a ruby here, um, I will not be parting with one of these green ones, like I said, because one of these green ones is going in a ring for me, because it's perfect size, and I have the, the setting, and I'm gonna 
plunk it in like that because I love it. I just wanted to show you that it's not like crap. There'll be, you know, either way it'll be fun. There'll be kind of good luck. Either way, whatever you do with the gem, I don't know if you guys collect them or if you want to put them in something or, you know, take them to your jewelers, have them put them in a, a setting or something. You could do that. Anyways, <laughs> nurture came in yesterday. Wee! <laughs> so exciting. So I got a couple things. I got this. This is obviously their biodegradable glitter. Uh, this is black onyx. I don't, you probably cannot see the gorgeous glitter effect because the bag is so glary. Let's take it out of the bag to show you. I don't even know if that even helps, but you can see the shimmer. You guys can probably fix your lighting on your computer. I can't change it on my tablet, but it's gorgeous. So I got black bio glitter. I already have gold and silver. Uh, but I decided to buy a big gigantic one of this, and oh my god, this is beautiful. This is Super Sparkles, and it's just like, it's, it's like snow. So you'll have some of this in your bombs. I can't say which one, but obviously I use, you know, glitter. I also bought their pearl black mica. I absolutely love this stuff because it stays true to its color. All nurture soaps, well, pretty much most of their micas, um, when you put them in cold process soap, they stay the same color. I mean, you might not get the shimmer, but they stay true to the color. So if you put black in your cold process soap, you'll see the black in the soap. It's beautiful. So I got that, and I got another one, obviously. And then I got a couple colors um, just to play with. And I love that they... Always give you the little scoopy thing, which is great, because, you know me, I use them for embeds, because they make those neat flat ones. But I, I didn't realize, this is how stunned I am, I just knew they had this side and this side for measuring. But you flip it over, that's a measurement, and that's a measurement. Yes, this is a quarter teaspoon. This is a half a teaspoon. This is one tablespoon. This is half a tablespoon. I think that's what it says. And real A, or a teaspoon. What is it? One teaspoon. Yeah, this is one teaspoon, one tablespoon, a quarter teaspoon, a half a teaspoon. Okay, so that's handy that they got those measurements on there. I was just quite, quite, quite happy. So yeah, so in the bombs I made, like I was just going to say, I do have some other glitters, bio glitters. Um... These are the hollow, because I love them. And then this is the gold, which is almost gone. But I don't use a lot. You don't need to use a lot. And then I have the silver, um, uh, the silver biodegradable, great, bleh, bio glitter. But I am getting some more of these, obviously, because I use them quite a bit, so. So, guys, as far as those bombs go, as far as these go, let me just show you one, two, whatever. Sure. Um, oh, I can hardly move. So, this is the mermaid one, and I don't know if you guys can see the glitter on top at all, but you'll see some of that, that bio glitter. That's the green, and these are definitely your silky satin water. Here's the pink. Hopefully, I'm praying and touching wood that these do give you enough. If they're not enough, I want everyone to tell me, and you'll get a, you know, I'll make it right, whatever. But I did do a test on this one in the bathtub. It seemed okay. The ones that were darker, there was only three of them. Like I said, near the end of the batch, I tested those, and they weren't that great. I don't know if the mix, it was the mixer because the rain or what. But usually I don't have a problem making these in the rain if they're in the cup because they're sealed away from the elements. So, but... You see the glitter on that one, too. So these are done right now. I only have six of each, okay? This one is already spoken for. Don't know what it is. Don't know what it is. Um, so anybody have suggestions as to what other colors that you'd like me to make? I was seriously thinking of doing a black one. I thought maybe a red, but there's other colors I can do. Like, I could do a pure gold one, although I already have that in a bath bomb. Um, I have... 
All the glitters is gold. I think I have two of those left and a bath bomb. They have a stone in them. And then I have the luck of the Irish. I have like about six of those left. And they have the green liquid gold. Like the green liquid satiny, whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't know if they're listed on my Etsy or not. They might be underneath another bomb category. Because we have the drop down menus now. And you can pick multiple of whatever. So I think they're in there. But if not, if anybody's interested, just message me and let me know. These are not on Etsy yet. Um... I think you'll just have to kind of combo me and let me know and then we can go from there and I'll just I don't know we'll do we'll figure something out I wouldn't I'd like to put these on after I've made a few more I mean I'm still selling these as they are now but if someone wants them but I'm not gonna be listing until I make some more so and yeah not to worry I've got this is still only my first bag of cups I got quite a few but anyways on that note guys I'm going to cut this short right now for some reason, my tablet just sucks the life out of me when it's not live and it's just recording. I think there's some stuff going on in the background that I don't know about. But anyways, it was nice to see you guys. Well, I guess in a, in a sense, not that I can see you because we're not live, but um, I would really like to get this live thing fixed. It's just, I, when we talked, it was easier and better, excuse me, for me to be able to converse Oh, here goes hiccups. It was easier for me to converse back and forth, and I didn't have to just go, okay, bye. But what can you do, right? Anyways, guys, on that note, I'm going to go. I'm going to tidy up my desk a little bit, put my boxes back. Oh, yeah, I was going to show you what was in this. Did I or did I? Or was I going to? Maybe it's just the rest of the balls. Maybe it's not a big deal. Yeah, that's probably what it is. If I can get it open. I hate this. Oh, yeah, and it was three rings that I got that I was ticked off about. Not ticked off. They gave me my money back, and I ordered these in February. But they finally came, so... But I've already done the bomb, so I don't know what I'll do. I'll have to figure something out. Anyways, guys, on that note, like I said, I'm going to get going. And these have to go back in here because I have to make these bombs. I'm going to get going, and like I said, please comment and stuff underneath. Let me know about colors or any of that stuff. And uh, hopefully I'll talk to you guys soon, okay? Maybe I can somehow, maybe the miracle will happen and I'll get live. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you next time. Cheers.